Tinubu is really packing us, uh, panicking as many people are calling for the sack of a uh, Ainek German, Yakubu Mahmoud. You know, the first person that called for the sack of a uh, Mahmoud is uh, Agwakuba. A lot of people have been talking about it because everybody knows the truth. Everybody just like, oh, let us try and move on. You know, there's no perfect election. It has always, but this one is just. It's just so glaring because some people are just used to it. And that's why you see some people say, oh, when somebody, once somebody has been appointed or elected or whatever, sworn in as the president, it will be difficult for that person to be removed. So that's the area some people are looking at it from, looking it from that angle. Oh, this person uh, cannot be removed. So the rest people are just wasting their time. And that is why they will continue to do the worst things. They will say, just get in there. Let the losers... Let them go to court. Former Minister of Aviation, Osita Chidoka, has described the Independent National Electoral Commission as a disappointment following the events that occurred at the 2023 general elections. Speaking an, in an interview with Chinese television, Chidoka said if he had his way, he would immediately remove the INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, from office. According to him, the 2023 election is the worst the election conducted in 2019 and 2015 he also said that even the international observers confirmed that the election lacks transparency INEC is a disappointment as an agency the INEC chairman and executives i'm totally disappointed in them i do not even trust any process that will come from them if i hide my way i would have removed INEC chairman mahmoud yakubu immediately for not delivering on the electoral process for creating this kind of system where elections have happened in this country the whole international community that observed it said something was wrong with this election this election did not even meet the standard 2015 remains a watershed 2019 was less than 2015 and 2023 is almost worse than the others the 2023 general elections which produced bola Tinumbu of the All Progressive Congress as the winner and president is currently being challenged in court by the opposition parties, namely the People's Democratic Party, PDP and the Labour Party, LP. Both parties and their presidential candidates claim the election was mad with irregularities and, the, and that INEC also failed to transmit results onto the beavers as announced prior to the election. Okay, -o. Who will come second? You go second as what? As the president of the country or as who? If you were the president, if you had your way, you would have sacked him. So who is supposed to sack this man now? This Mahmoud, who is supposed to sack him? Is it Tinumbu? That means if you were the president, you would have sacked him. That means you, are, you don't even have the power to sack him because he is the one who brought you into power. He is the one who said you won, which other people say you did not win. So you do expect a Tinubu to have sacked him. It's not going to work. Forget. That is why when you hear people saying, oh, eh, eh, INEC is now APC. No. Maybe before now. But for, for the now that they are, they are the ones that said APC won, Tinubu won, they have to align and to, they have to defend their results that they announced. As for declaring Tinubu winner, they have to defend it. So it is, it is by default. If they don't defend Tinubu, that means they are going to they are going to be indicted for declaring somebody who did not win. So they made that declaration. So they have to stand by what they declare. So that is just it. It's not by being APC or whatever. They have already done the 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 the, 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 the worst. So they just have to follow it through. Yes. So you don't expect Tinubu to come and sack him. Uh -huh. Well, last lasso, everybody go collect wutu wutu. <laughs> The more you see, the less you understand. Rest my case. Yes. <laughs> that is it. Was the 2023 general election the worst in Nigeria history? Definitely not. It is so. Tell us. If Tinubu does that, it means he did not bribe them with a $170 million. Leaving Yakubu Mahmoud. There is Ubidati's alibi. Hmm. Oh, 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 That is why he is the INEC chairman, not you. Can you imagine? Love that those points are genuine. Mm. 
Nigerians might not go to polls again if nothing is done to encourage them. They are there. Votes that that their vote will definitely count. I next should declare the true results and the chairman made to face the law. You know, in this country, we have a leaders who are yahoo yahoo boys. They are even worse than yahoo yahoo boys. You know that every now and then Nigerians are getting wiser. But the more the Nigerian people are getting wiser, the more the politicians themselves they are getting wiser looking for other means in this area you think that oh you have gotten it all you know people didn't want to come out and vote now they were pressured to vote they were encouraged to vote they were advised to vote they were appealed you know they they were they they, they did a manner of things to allow people to tell people to come out and vote and this before you know it people said they were not going to vote and these leaders brought new innovations that we are going to do it this friendly forget the politicians they are not going to have their ways and all of that now Nigerians, if there's going to be another election, Nigerians will not be telling you that. You will not be telling us. No, you will not be telling us that. Uh, uh, no, some some policies are not laws. Some laws are not uh, regulations or whatever that you can declare. You can do whatever you want to do. Now Nigerians will not want to pursue that fact that okay, if Anek is going to be telling us this is how everything is going to go from voting to collation to the announcement, people will not want to believe them or people want to say this is it. This is it. The in the last election you told us that a uh, election is going to be trans uh, the results will be transmitted uh, through IREV and all of that, but you didn't do that. So now they are telling you that uh, they don't they are not obligated to to do it the way they have said it. And now people now say, okay, what do you want us to believe? They will still look for another way to outsmart the people. That is how it has always been. That is how it has always been. They will always look for one place to outsmart the people. And people will see for Yakata. In that area, they must have left that place. They will go and correct that area that you think that you have caught them. They will devise another means. That is what has been playing out. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.